Welcome to episode 1148 of the Multipam Collective. Today I want to talk, it's Saturday, we're uh, waiting on a big, huge snowstorm coming to Atlanta. Um, it's, it's super interesting me having lived in areas where it did snow with great frequency, uh, how people in Atlanta respond to snow. Um, I get it. <laughs> it's, uh, it doesn't snow here very often, so when it does, it is a huge event. A giant occasion for a party, but I am off track. So let's talk about um, mental exercises. There is something that I am uh, doing in 2022 specifically. Uh, not my novel idea. Not entirely sure where I picked it up, but uh, but I've been doing it for uh, each day of the year thus far. So today is the 15th. I've been doing it for 15 days in a row, and that is when I get home at night, I write down or uh, the question, "What did I learn today?" And then I unpack things like emotions. By way of example, I was sitting in a Monday morning meeting and I found myself getting agitated by a topic that we were talking about. And I became more and more agitated the more and more we talked about this particular thing. But I'm not entirely sure what it was. Um, that's not coming to mind readily. But but I, what I remember about that moment in time is that I got a feeling. My, literally, I had just like aggression welling up in me. And I couldn't figure out why. And so I exercised some, some, you know, emotion regulation techniques in the meeting. And so I didn't, you know, just go off on someone or express that I was frustrated by the conversation. Um, but I came home that night and I wrote down, what did I learn today? And so I unpacked that entire moment and I figured out and I discerned for myself that the conversation that we were having was not one that I was very well prepped with or I didn't have any ideas, thoughts. I wasn't even indifferent about the topic. I was just upset about it. I didn't know why. And I think what I uncovered for myself is that I just wasn't prepared. And I <clears throat> wanted to be involved in the conversation, but I, I didn't have anything of value to, to say. I didn't have any ideas. I didn't have any potential solutions. I didn't have anything to contribute. And therefore, I felt at a deficit. And so I unpacked that by way of the question that I wrote down for myself that night. What did I learn from today? And that lesson for myself was that there are, I don't need to know everything. I don't need to be involved in every single conversation. I don't need to have an opinion about everything that comes up in a Monday morning meeting, a leadership meeting. I don't, I don't need to. Um, that particular conversation evolved. It ended in the a solution that I think was viable for what we were talking about. And that was it. Um, so on a go forward, if I'm in a room like that, and there's a topic that, you know, is not the end of the world for our organization, uh, and I don't have anything to contribute to it, I will sit there and patiently listen, uh, chime in if somebody asks me a question, but otherwise I'll just let conversations evolve and, uh, and know and trust that, that my team can do it. Um, or the team that I work with can take conversations and run with them. So anyway, the exercise is the punchline here. Coming home at, at night and writing in your journal, which is something we can talk about on a different day, but just write, even if you just write down on a piece of paper, what did I learn today? Unpack something, be it an emotion or a bad decision or a great decision, a bad outcome, a good outcome. Unpack whatever it is that moved you during the course of that day. And here's what, here's the real big punchline in my mind. If you do that with discipline, let's say you just did it for every work day of the year. At the end of the year, you're going to have 200 plus or minus uh, potential ideas, lessons, etc. that you, you can employ in your life, obviously, or assist others with in their lives, uh, serve back to a community by way of blog posts and uh, or video content or blogs or whatever it is. You, you will have... Uh, 220 ideas. Um, some of them may be thematic or overlap or whatever, but uh, I think it's a cool exercise. I'd love to hear about it if you, in fact, employ it in your life. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.